Hello and welcome to Delicious Simplicity. I'm Anna Torkakis. On the menu today, we have codfish filet in a creamy sauce with almonds, a super quick steamed vegetable with balsamic vinegar, and spiced baked apples with cinnamon and brown sugar. So the first thing we're gonna start working on is the uh, baked apples. So I already have two cut up here, and what we're gonna do is cut these crosswise and bake them, and we're gonna top them with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of uh, brown sugar, and some walnuts, and bake them. Really super easy, a great uh, healthy dessert for this time of the year. And they cook in about tw uh, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. So what I'm doing is cutting this crosswise, and what I'm gonna do is core the inside a little bit and some of the, 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 the outside here. And I need a small knife. And just adding that little bit of cinnamon and that brown sugar just makes them so much taste. I mean, it turns an apple into a dessert. So it's a great way to eat your fruit. And the kids will love these. Actually, this is a great recipe to have the kids help you with as well. Just maybe this part, this coring part may not be ideal for them. I'm gonna leave this in the this stick here for just to, for things that look pretty. So I've already done two. Here's two more. How quick is that? So now I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon on top. And then we're gonna serve these with some um, yogurt that's been sweetened with powdered sugar, with confectionery sugar. Or you could also use ice cream or frozen yogurt or even whipped cream if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this with my hands because I find that it's easier. Cause it's, I probably need about a tablespoon or two. And I'm using Cortland apples for this recipe. I just like the way it cooks, and, the, and I love the color of the skin because it's that nice bright red or purple. Well, not purple, kind of red. So I'm going to chop about, oh, I'd say a quarter of a cup of uh, walnuts. Walnuts are really great for you. They're full of omega-3 fatty acids, which um, are the healthy fats. And they're very versatile, too. You can use them in many different ways. Actually, we'll be using them in a couple of different ways here today. There we go, and I'll save a few for later. There, so I'm just gonna put, pop these in the oven for about 20 to 35 minutes. I'll, I'll check it about 25 minutes. Um, actually, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to check it about 25 minutes just to see how they're doing. So you set the oven at 350. So the vegetables that we're gonna be making today are gonna to be uh, steamed and they are super easy to do and quick too. So first, I'm going to, um, well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to layer these in a um, steaming basket. So in this pot, I have about a, an inch or so of water. And then I'm going to layer my vegetables um, in this steamer. This is so um, handy because you can fit them in a whole bunch of different pans. It's not set for a specific pot or pan. So you can, it's very versatile. Um, the only thing is that you do need to have like a pot that's a little high. So this is, all, this is really high, but that's what we have here. So, but any pot that's at least this high, because otherwise if it's too low, you can't put a lid on it. So this way, uh, make sure that you've got a nice high, a nice tall pot. So on this uh, steamed vegetable uh, dish today, we're doing uh, potatoes, we are doing carrots, zucchini, and broccoli in that order and that way they'll be layered in that order and they'll cook accordingly. First thing I'm going to peel is this potato. We are using russet potato today. And one thing I need to remember um, is that we're going to cut this lengthwise. And if you're asking yourself could I use red potato or sweet potato, of course you could. 
you could use that. I always give my potatoes one quick rinse. Uh, so I don't need to dry them because they're going to go on uh, in the steamer. And I'm going to cut them lengthwise about one, a quarter of an inch thick. There we go. So I'm going to layer these on the bottom. Oof. Next thing I'm going to do are the carrots and zucchinis are next. I want to cut these in half first because they're too long to cut into um, quarter inch wide uh, So what I'm doing is I'm holding the carrots on the side. My fingers are on the side so they don't get cut. Uh, the, the smaller ends I'm just going to do in half. So layer them here. I like to think of this meal as the other holiday meal, the meal that you eat in between the holidays. That way you can eat whatever you like at the holiday meal. So we have the baked apples for dessert, we have those steamed vegetables as a side, and the fish as the entree, so um, pretty healthy meal, I think, and delicious. So for these vegetables, we have a uh, little dressing that goes with it, with, made of balsamic vinegar and Dijon mustard, and then another surprise ingredient, which I'll show you in a second. All right, so these are all beautifully layered. So I'm going to pop this in here. Well, there's that little jigama thing in here, but I think it's, I don't know if I can get to it. There we go. There we go. All right, perfect. So I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to turn on the heat. We're going to bring this to a boil. In the meantime, I'm going to work on the dressing, about three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, so I'm just going to eyeball it. And there's about three. And one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. To this, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And a little bit of pepper. There we go. Blend that all together. So that so for my secret ingredient here, we are using walnuts, and okay. walnuts. Uh, I just happen to have some that were left over. And what I'm going to do to these is actually chop them a little bit more fine. So you can see that sometimes when you have an ingredient, you tend to use it just because you have it. Um, although this was interesting in that I didn't plan on this. These ingredients just happened to be in the recipes that I chose. So I need about a tablespoon of, sh of um, chopped walnuts, really finely chopped. And you know, sometimes uh, the way ingredients are used in a recipe makes all the difference. So this, what this, uh, what these walnuts here will do is in a way kind of thicken the sauce a little bit or the dressing a little bit. So the vegetables will steam for about four to five minutes. That's just about a, a tablespoon. 
So we put that in there. And if it's a little more, a little less, it's not a big deal. Whisk that. So how quick was that? How easy is that? Beautiful. Again, remember, it's the other meal, the other holiday meal. I'm going to check on my vegetables here. The ones I want to check the most are the potatoes. Yeah, so they need a few more minutes. So I'm going to add my broccoli now. So the broccoli go in last, as these only take a few minutes, so those have a little bit more time to go. Put these in, the vegetables are steaming, they have a few more minutes to go, in the meantime I'm going to be uh, multitasking and I'm going to start working on the garlic for my fish. Uh, recipe. So I need four cloves of uh, garlic that are going to be finely chopped, or rather minced. So the apples are baking, vegetables are steaming. The fish real cooks really quick. Uh, the preparation for it doesn't take much longer either, a couple, a few minutes. Probably I'd say if you had everything ready, you could have every, it all set in about five minutes uh, at the prep time. So I'm going to uh, mince these, finely mince. And I also need to chop, um, in, uh, I also need to chop an onion. I'll need about half a cup of that. that on the side here. I'm going to get the onion here. Get this hat almost ready because I think I need to check on my vegetables before I go any further. I think these are perfect. So I'm going to take that off. Make some room. There we go. Broccoli is a beautiful, nice, bright green. They, they're cooked, but uh, still uh, with crunch to them. Oh, yeah. I can take this out now. Cool it off. Yeah, so these um, steaming baskets are great. So everything seems to be crispy cooked, which is perfect for vegetables. You don't want them to be too, too mushy. But they look pretty, the potatoes. It, it's amazing. Sometimes just cutting them in a, certain in a certain shape makes a big difference. And these are great to you know, make and leave at room temperature because you can eat them at room temperature as well. I love how the colors complement each other, too. Put some here. So then we're just going to dress them. Oops. We're just going to dress them with the dressing that we've made. So we use balsamic vinegar and Dijon mustard.
There we go. Beautiful. Oh, and it smells so nice, too. Beautiful aroma. We'll put that right here. So the next thing we're going to start again on is the fish. So here I have my garlic. And I'm going to chop the onion. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil in the um, in the skillet. Okay. Right before I started crying on that. So two tablespoons of oil in olive oil here in my skillet. It's about one, it's about two. All right, the oil seems like it's almost um, hot enough, so I'm going to add my garlic in here. A lot of garlic in there. So we'll wait till that browns a little bit, starts sizzling. So in the meantime, I'm going to start getting my fish ready. So I'm going to flour the fish, and I like my little baggy trick, so in here I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of flour. There we go. I'm also going to add a little salt and pepper. Oh, there goes the garlic. I can hear it. that up a little bit. Oh, this is going. So I'm going to add the onion in here. I'm going to cook this for a minute or so till the garlic browns. You don't want to brown it too much because you don't want it to burn. But you do want it to brown it just enough to give up some flavor. So here's my fish. I'm using cod, but you could also use haddock or halibut if you want to. I'm going to put that in the bag. Simple. I'm not seasoning the fish. You can if you choose to. This makes um, flouring so much easier using the bag. And of course, you always want to shake off the excess flour. All right, I think this is ready. I'm actually going to push this to the side. Take off the excess. Oh, it smells wonderful. I always try to put the thickest piece in the middle, in the center, because that's where the most heat is. And one more piece. Push that a little bit. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. The onions and the garlic together is just incredible. So one other thing that I'm going to do is add an additional tablespoon of flour in here. So this is sort of like going to be like a roux. 
So I'm going to turn it now. It's always tricky. There we go. All right, so then I'm going to add half a cup of white wine that I have right here. I'm doing it a little bit at a time so that the steam doesn't go crazy here. There we go. So essentially I'm cooking some of that alcohol off, some of the wine off so that you're left with the flavor. I'm going to add one cup of vegetable stock. This is half a cup, I'm going to do two of these. So if you find fish stock or seafood stock, feel free to get that. If not, you can make your own or just use vegetable. So we let that cook for a few minutes. So what's going to happen is that the flour, that extra flour that we added to the pan is going to help uh, thicken the juices, thicken the, the broth that we've added. And to this I'm also going to add one cup of frozen peas. All right, so it looks like the fish, the fish seems ready. So I'm gonna get the platter. This is one of my favorite dishes. It's so easy, it's so easy. And as I said, it's the other holiday meal. Look at that. So, he, so you see how we, you get a creamy sauce that goes along with it. It's sort of like a creamy wine sauce. low in fat, so I eat lower in calories, but full of flavor. The wine and the garlic and the onions, just amazing, just amazing. We're serving it with vegetables today, but you could also serve this with, um, you know, some rice, brown rice. That would go perfect, too. So here's your creamy sauce. Isn't that wonderful? And all you do is just pour it on. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. We're not done yet. We still have a few other things to add on here. Oh, I think this is great. It does not get much better than this, even at a restaurant. So I'm going to sprinkle a couple of tablespoons of um, parsley on here. A little bit more green on, on top. And then we're going to contrast this green with some sliced almonds. Again, another really healthy nut to make sure that you have on hand. You need a couple of tablespoons. Oh, as much as you'd like. I like the crunch, so. There we go. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Minutes. It's gorgeous. All right, so now we still have dessert left. And I'm going to check and see how the apples are doing. I'm going to bring a fork with me because I want to see if they're fork tender. And these are perfect. Do you notice I don't usually use an oven mitten? I find that they're too cumbersome for me and I can't grab things well enough. So I didn't have to test these for, to see if they were done because they're just perfect. You don't want them too cooked because you don't want to have applesauce on your hand. So I think these are just perfect. 
So while these cool off a little bit, so what I'm going to do now is make the uh, yogurt to, to go along with it. Okay, so I'm going to use I'm going to use about a cup of yogurt, plain yogurt. Uh, so here I have the yogurt. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of confectionery sugar or powdered sugar. Or more if you choose to. That one wasn't quite so full. So I'm going to stir this in. In the meantime, the apples are cooling. All right, so that took no time at all. Um, in here, I have some melted chocolate, thanks to Winfrey's fudge and chocolate. And of course, thanks to Calorizo's Farm Stand and Garden Center for all the produce that we used here today. I'm going to put the apples on this plate. I like to eat the skin when I make these apples. Um, and if if you do, that's great. You can do that too. If you don't like to eat the skin, you don't have to. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I love the colors. I really love this particular kind of apple for this dish, this uh, uh, Cortland. And I'm also going to try to get some of this juice here just to kind of decorate the plate. I want to lose on those those walnuts. There we go. So in here, I have some melted chocolate, and um, I've kept it warm. Uh, well, I kept it soft in this uh, water bath, sort of. So I'm just going to drizzle some on. And then I'm going to plate one out. So that when you're serving it, oh look at that, I'm going to add some yogurt. You can add yogurt to those as well. I'm just going to do one. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Perfect. Oof, I love it. All right, so now we are going to drizzle some more chocolate on top. Is it coming? Oh, there we go. Maybe a little bit on the plate. There's no reason you can't get fan fancy just because you're at home. And I'm also going to put like one big walnut on top. Here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so here we have today uh, the other holiday meal. Um, we've made some beautiful uh, cod fish in a white creamy sauce with beautiful steamed vegetables and some spice baked apples. They're all delicious. Well, they can all be found in my book, uh, Delicious Simplicity. Um, and also, uh, some of these recipes are going to be on my website, livesimplydelicious.com, so you can find them there as well. And I want to thank you for joining us. Thank, I want to thank our sponsors and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>